O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you to be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Saviour. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Jesus advising everybody how they should treat each other and how we should respond to actions that maybe we don't like being done to us, but we respond in a more positive way. We ask the Lord to help us now to do this throughout our lives, that we try not to seek revenge, but always try to seek encouragement and help. say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the reign of you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. As God's follow wick workers, we beg you once again not to neglect the grace of God that you have received. For he says, at the favorable time, I will listen to you. And on the day of salvation, I came to your help. Well, now is the favorable time. This is the day of salvation. We do nothing that people might object to, so as not to bring discredit on our function as God's servants. Instead, we prove we are servants of God by great fortitude in times of suffering. In times of hardship and distress, we are flogged and sent to prison or mobbed, laboring sleepless, starving, we prove we are God's servants by our purity, knowledge, patience, and kindness, by the spirit of holiness, by a love free from affectation, by the word of truth, and by the power of God, by being armed with the weapons of righteousness in the right hand and in the left, prepared for honor or disgrace, for blame or praise, taken for imposters while we are genuine obscure yet famous, said to be dying, and here we are alive, rumored to be executed before we are sentenced. Though most miserable, and yet we are always rejoicing, taking for paupers, though we, though we make others rich, for people having nothing, though we have everything. The Word of the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. 
The Lord has made known his salvation. He has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, ring out your joy. The Lord has made known his salvation. Please stand to greet the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I say this to you, offer the wicked man no resistance. On the contrary, if anyone hits you on the right cheek, Offer him the other as well. If a man takes you to law and would have your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone orders you to go one mile, go two miles with him. Give to anyone who asks, and if anyone wants to borrow, do not turn away. Beloved Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Foundation Mass this morning. Lord, in your mercy. Just got the news just before Mass. An 18 year old girl in India has died. Pray for her family at this time. Her name is Athena Johnson. Lord, in your mercy. And Michael Josephath, another member of the parish, is going for a serious heart surgery at St. Bart's. We pray that it will be successful for him. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all the leaders of the nations. We pray especially for the leaders of the Ukraine and Russia and the Sudan that they will search for peace and stop the terrible killings that are going on in both all these countries. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray too for those who are persecuted because of their faith in Christ that they might know his peace in their hearts. 
Lord, in your mercy. We pray, keep in our prayers to all our young people, especially those who are still doing their major examinations, that the Holy Spirit will help them in their journey. Lord, in your mercy. And we remember all who have asked us to keep them in our prayers. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary, our mother, to join with us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father of mercies, you always hear your children when they call to you. Grant all the prayers we have made to you, if they be according to your will. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquity, defend us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offering presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with, our, with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebrations we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For well, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaken of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The save his command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion for those who've joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things. We desire to receive into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you've already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life.
Let us pray. <clears throat> At this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thank you all very much and have a nice day. There will be no exposition of the Blessed Sacrament of Rosie this morning but we're having some work done in the church. Thank you.